So uh, tell me what it's like, man, being back at Clemson and, and kind of getting to experience this all over again. Oh, man, it's great. It's great being back. Actually being back in a program and back in a, a place that I love, my university, you know. So when, uh, when Coach B caught, contacted me and told me about the opportunity, I, I didn't hesitate. How did all that go down? Were you just sitting at home one night and he calls you up? How did all that go down? Yeah, he actually called me. You know, we had a previous relationship. You know, mm -hmm. I've been coming back and forth from time to time. So we had a relationship before. And he actually was one of the guys that, when he was at UNC Wilmington, they recruited me out of high school. So, okay. So it's been, a, it's been a long time, you know, and when he called me, I actually didn't know at first what it was about. And then after talking to him, I was just, I was excited, you know, and, and I didn't hesitate, like I said, I didn't. I didn't knew I wouldn't be on the court with the guys, but just a chance to be around the program. And I told, like I told him, in any way possible that I possibly can be an asset to back in the program, I'm, I'm willing to do. And he was, he was like, okay, I might have an opportunity for you. So where were you living at when that happened? When, when you got that phone call? Um, in Charlotte, with Matthews. You okay. know, uh, my family, my kids there. So I was just doing the, you know, the family thing. I just retired, I had hip replacement surgery, so I was kind of still recovering from that and just um, really just hanging out. Really just trying to figure out. Okay, I knew I wanted to get into basketball. Just trying to find the right situation, and then he actually called at a perfect time. And, and I was like, yeah, the place I love, the place I want to be at. And he, he kind of gave me the opportunity, so I'm grateful. Why is it everybody loves Clemson so much? Why is it the guys come back when opportunities like this happen for it's the, you guys? It's the family atmosphere, you know. It's fam everybody speaking to you, everybody showing you showing you love. And that's that's one thing it's about, you know. I want my, my kids to come back, come here and say, oh, wow, the guy, they really love you around here. And that's what it's about because it's a family atmosphere. It's not just something that's said. It's just something that shows. So that's one thing, the biggest reason why I always come back. Is, is it very similar? Is Clemson similar to when it was? I mean, that's you know, it 20 years ago, basically. It's, is it 20? it's similar. The only thing different is Lil John. <laughs> you know, Lil John and, the, and with all the technology now, but the, the Clemson itself is, is definitely similar, you know. And I see a lot of similar faces, a lot of familiar faces that, I, that was here when I was here. So that shows you what kind of place this is for people to be doing it that long. That was 20 years ago. For so them to still be be here and involved with the university, so many people, it shows you what kind of place this is. All right, so now you're, you've been a couple months in to establish what you want to do with your with your program. And I know it's a little bit like what Jeff's doing over there at Paul Journey. Yeah. Of course, you're at the beginning. Yeah. Jeff's been doing this Just for beginning. seven or eight years. So yeah. do, do, do you lean on Jeff to kind of help say, hey, Jeff, how can I go about doing this? How have you reached out to others that have done this program to help establish it at Yeah, Clemson, I, I actually basketball? talked to Jeff uh, a couple times, and he helped me out with some things. You know, we're at the beginning stages. Obviously, we're not at the stage that Paul Journey is, but we're kind of building towards that. You know, we're just trying to to see what fits and for basketball you know we have less guys so we're able to do things but right now it's just kind of building them and developing them as men number one mentoring them on and off the court uh, that's one of the biggest things and getting with different departments around campus because they need to do a lot of campus campus community things and being involved with their with their campus and, and people right here in Clemson so that's one of the things and another is just preparing them so they won't have that gray area after they're done playing like I did and that's one of the things I'm I'm definitely going to help them. So, you know, when you look at these uh, the, the, the young men and what they're what talking about they're doing, so did you and Coach Brownell kind of get together and say, okay, let's have a starting point and then kind of set yourself some goals up as you go along to try to get this accomplished, not just this year, but maybe as the years go by? Yeah, he talked to me about it uh, before I even actually took the job and, and what it would entail, you know, and, and that's the vision he had. He wanted his players to, because to, he's real big on development as men, you know, because you have stages through your life, and this is one of the most important times of their lives, even though they might not understand it now, but he understands that. So we kind of talked about it and just trying to start from building it, uh, obviously taking it to a, another level event but right now just building and setting the foundation. What did it mean to you for him to reach out to you and call you about that? I mean, because there's a lot of former Clemson yeah, greats so out many, there. So many people he could have called, so I'm, I'm definitely grateful, you know, and like I told him, whatever you need me to do, I'm willing to do. You know, anything I, I could do, if it's whatever small piece I could do to help the program be better uh, and help our team be better, I'm, I'm willing to do. So for him to reach out to me out of all people, you know, it shows, you know, how he, he feels about me, and I, I'm really appreciative.
So um, this team is trying to get back to the NCAA tournament. It's been something. I mean, obviously you bring a guy like yourself that played in it three times. You know what it takes. Yeah. You know, how do you tell these young guys, first of all, A, what it's like, and B, what it takes to get there? Uh, I think that's that's another reason, you know, with the success we had here when I was playing, that's another one of the reasons. So that's one of the things that I'm doing for my mentorship with the, with the guys is, is just sharing my experiences and, and how important it is because if you think about it, college basketball is about March Madness. So you want to be playing in March Madness, you know, so that's what college basketball is all about. So uh, I just try to share my experiences, just let them know day by day is what gets you to that point. You know, every game, every practice is important. And for me to say that to them every day, not just when Coach Barnell say it or anybody but a player that actually been through it to say it to them, I think they kind of, you know, take heat. And, you know, the guy's been doing well so far. All right, uh, thanks so much, buddy.